All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the Detroit Lions. Obviously, the way that game this past Saturday night against the Dallas Cowgirls ended was completely unideal. And uh, yeah, I was not a huge fan of what the refs decided to call. I think pretty much every single NFL watcher who saw that game disagreed with the call and uh, we can sit here and we can nitpick why the NFL was wrong and why we want the audio and all that stuff but at the end of the day it doesn't matter because it's already in the past and I really loved what Dan Campbell had to say about it he called it a blessing and that they got a taste of what it's like and you know even though it was week 17 it fully felt like a playoff game and to be quite honest with you, I don't particularly feel like Detroit played all that well outside of a couple of drives. Like Jared Goff threw an interception two minutes before the almost and should have been game-winning drive. So I really think this was a great learning opportunity. I don't know why I thought of the quote, it's always darkest before the dawn, because yeah, at the end of the day, Detroit Lions are going to host their first ever home playoff game in Ford, right? They're in the freaking playoffs and they won the NFC North. So it's like, Hard to kind of nitpick it, and uh, I will just say if they were to run into Dallas on the road in the playoffs, if I was a Dallas fan, I would be a little bit hesitant because I'd be like, well, shoot, uh, Detroit looked like the better team that day, and uh, they didn't even really play all that well. So let's look into it a little bit. Uh, but once again, I, I really think Dan Campbell is the perfect head coach. I don't know how anybody on the entire earth could hate this dude, and uh, they're resilient. This is a resilient football team. So I want them to end as strong as humanly possible this upcoming weekend against Minnesota. But I will deal with all that stuff when it comes. Let's look into that game a little bit. Like I said, I don't, before we get into the video, actually, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. Lions fans, love you guys as always. Let me know your thoughts on that game heading into the playoffs down below. If you could try and get this video to 250 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. But yeah, I'm going to just keep it a buck. I mean, we know Dallas has a phenomenal defense. Like Dallas has a really good freaking defense. Uh, third down conversions, 4-13. You know, red zone conversions, two of four. Uh, the two interceptions by Jared Goff. In the playoffs, I don't particularly think those statistics are going to win you a Super Bowl. Uh, but that's why it's a regular season game. And that's why you need to learn from it. You want to learn from your successes, but you most importantly want to learn from your failures and tweak things. I also do just want to say, like, especially, I, I kind of noticed this more so with Jameer Gibbs, 15 carries, 43 yards, and only 2.9 yards per carry. And we've been saying this on the channel all season. I really don't, and most Lions fans agree with this, I don't think Ben Johnson's giving away everything right now. You know, I'm actually kind of surprised that they went for, you know, like that fourth down punt, fake punt. Uh, I'm kind of surpri not surprised that they did that, but, um, you know, the two-point conversion, going for it again, I also would 100% go for it. You know, these are football players. These are professional athletes. They are, like, just the top tier as far as competition and competitors go. Like, you want the ball in your hands. And maybe in the playoffs, they would kick the extra point and take this thing into overtime where the rules are a little bit more in your favor. But um, in the regular season, I, I definitely, you know, sometimes things fail. You know, sometimes things just don't go your way, even though they should have, um, you know, as we look back on it. But it is what it is, man. Like, I, I really love Dan Campbell's tenacity. But just going back to it, I, I don't think Ben Johnson specifically with a guy like Jameer Gibbs is truly showing all of his cards, right? I, I think they've got a ton of stuff like the two-point conversion that we saw that are just being kept in their back pocket that they've been practicing all season for this upcoming playoff run and for moments like that once we get into the playoffs. As a team, they actually ran not too bad. It was a little bit better, in my opinion, in the second half. David Montgomery had a really good day. 14 carries, 65 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, the Detroit Lions as a team, 31 carries, 125 yards, averaging four yards per carry. Uh, that is a good statistic that I like to see heading into the playoffs. Uh, Jared Goff, you know, I think especially with that second interception with like a little over two minutes to go in the fourth quarter, uh, which really just... I, <laughs> I hate sitting here and talking about the two-point conversion because it's like if that interception didn't happen, we wouldn't probably be having this. We certainly wouldn't be having this conversation here. Uh, it was a phenomenal play by the defensive back. Like It just was a great football play. Uh, looked to me like David Montgomery was wide open in the middle of the field, but Jared Goff is also, just like everyone on the Detroit Lions, a resilient football player who is 
learning. And, you know, we know what he has done for Detroit. We know what he did in Los Angeles with the Rams. And I have no reason to doubt him. You know, I, I really don't. But an interception like that is absolutely devastational. Um, if that's even a word in that context, 19 to 34, 271 yards, a touchdown and two interceptions. It was weird because, you know, after the first half, uh, Dallas was up seven to three. And especially after Detroit's first drive, I actually thought the entire ball game, but especially in the first half, even though the score didn't represent it, that Detroit's just the better football team. But we have to remember at this point last year, they were eight and eight and they started the year one and six. So like they're still learning how to win and you just need to go through road bumps. You just need to go through hiccups like this to unite your team and come out on you know, once the playoffs happen, come out on the victorious side here, right? So it is what it is. It's obviously very unideal, especially when we start looking into seeding and momentum, and you just would like to get that victory in Dallas, but it just is what it is, man. It, it really is. One thing I think the defense did a really good job. Mel Fonwu has been an absolute freaking stud as of late. Uh, the dude is literally all over the field, and he had another interception. This is now back-to-back -back games with an interception for him, and I think he's just done a phenomenal job. I think Sutton did a great job. Uh, Kirby Joseph has been doing a really good job as a late. Alex Anzalone, Aiden Hutchinson with the three sacks and the forced fumble. Uh, Vildor got in there with a the forced fumble. I think the Detroit Lions defense heading into the playoffs, playing such a high-powered team like Dakota Prescott and the Dallas Cowgirls, I think this is a really good momentum boost for the defense like you just gave up 20 points what could have easily been just 17 points if it wasn't for that interception but i guess who knows i think the defense did a phenomenal job holding up so with dan campbell at the helm aaron glenn ben johnson as my coordinators jared goff all of my high-powered guys on offense, Amon Ross St. Brown had a great day, six catches, 90 yards on the touchdown. Sam Laporta had a great day, seven catches for 84 yards. Jamison Williams had a beautiful 63-yard connection with Jared Goff and the way the defense played. Uh, it works for me. I know that the outcome really sucks, and if this was in the playoffs, it would really, really, really suck. And uh, yeah, it really does suck, but it is what it is, and it's in the past now, so... All things considered, I came away with the fact that Detroit's the better football team than Dallas, and outside of San Francisco, I really think Detroit is going to make a deep playoff run, and I see them making the NFC Championship. So I'm really excited for the playoffs. I'm excited for Week 18 against Minnesota, where hopefully they can continue to regain the momentum as far as winning goes, but... The way they looked, it just I'm not upset with it. I just really am not. So let me know what you guys are thinking. As always, hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. And uh, Lions fans, how are you guys feeling heading into what's soon going to be the playoffs?